The reading is from Psalm 1. Happy are those who reject the advice of evil people, who do not follow the example of sinners or join in or join those who have no use for God. Instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord and they study it day and night. They are like trees that grow beside a stream, that bear fruit at the right time and whose leaves do not dry up. They succeed in everything they do. But evil people are not like this at all. They are like straw that the wind blows away. Sinners will be condemned by God and kept apart from God's own people. The righteous are guided and protected by the Lord, but the evil are on their way to their doom. This is the word of the Lord. In a sense, if only life was that simple, we know that there are great contrasts between good and evil. We see evil at work in our world, and we also see goodness and kindness and compassion. But we also know that we're a bit of a mixture. At times we are selfish, at times we act kindly and compassionately. The Psalms so often paint things in very vivid colours or very black and white, very strong contrasts. And we have to be careful not to become arrogant in goodness. But let's try to be those well-watered trees. There's such a contrast there between the chaff that just blows away the dust that gets in your eyes the dust of the world, the things that just will pass, and a tree that is well watered, that is planted, where its roots can draw up the water and the nutrients. I want you to think for a moment of a tree that you know, that you are familiar with. It might be a huge tree, it might be a tree just in the rye, it might be a tree in your garden or in the park nearby. Have you got a tree in mind? And it's cut down. There were many trees cut down in Sheffield and the outrage that was felt because these are wonderful things. I remember at primary school, we all had to do a project on a tree. Mine was a silver birch tree. And uh, I still remember the shape. It was particularly tall for, for a birch. Because birches are short-lived. And uh, when I went to see my son, who now lives down in Bromley, where I was brought up. The tree is no longer there. But trees are precious things. They so often are longer lived than we are. And the psalm thinks of a tree that is well watered, that that's leaves remain, that don't fall off midsummer, but stay there, stay there well-watered trees. We want to be a well-watered tree. And for us, the water is the water of the Spirit, the Spirit of God. We want to draw in that Spirit that brings fruit, and the great fruit of love and joy and peace and patience, and goodness and kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Let's be that kind of tree, rather than the chaff, the things that just blow away in the wind.